One of the biggest luxuries of being in high school is finally being able to get the opportunity to drive. Though where I live, most people need their licenses revoked expeditiously. But when we were younger, most people took the bus to school. And this ultimately made for one of the most horrendous experiences I've ever been a part of. The things that went down on these school buses to have my classmates on wanted posters like we're in a western movie or something. Viewer discretion is advised. So today, we'll be discussing the worst parts about riding the school bus and some of my personal experiences with them. Comment down below your experience of riding the school bus and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about catching the school bus. Now my bus stop was literally around the corner from my house, but since I actually have respect for myself, I made sure to get as much sleep as possible. This often ended with me having to haul ass to the bus stop like I'm Tyreek Hill. There is nothing that puts more fear in my heart than realizing that I'm late for the school bus. When I was catching the bus, I was late more often than John Morant pistol totes. The worst thing is when there's snow and ice on the ground because now I'm moving twice as slow trying not to bust my ass in front of everyone at the bus stop. I remember once I was running to the bus stop and slipped and landed right on my ass. It felt like my ass bones were broken like Patrick Starr. But my bus driver either came 30 minutes early or an hour late. There was no in between. Every day was literally something different. You had to fucking gamble with your time like a casino. It also sucks when there's a substitute bus driver who doesn't know what time to come and where the bus stops are. They'll drive right past your bus stop and all the kids have to tell them to stop. Once we had a substitute bus driver who took the most obscure route to school. Nobody recognized where the fuck we were going and we thought he was gonna mark us and we end up on the news. But by far the most gut-wrenching and agonizing part about missing the bus stop is telling your parents that you missed the bus. I remember having to build up the courage for this moment bro. But it's even worse when your parents are sleeping. Sometimes I wouldn't even tell them and just camp in my room or something. But the times I did tell them the car rides were so awkward to school, the tension in the car was thicker than ice spice. And you already know if you say a word they'll slap you into next year. Little does she know, I left my backpack at home. But there's also been times where I missed the bus because this good for nothing bus driver drove past me. There'll literally be times where I'm up the street from the bus stop and these morbid motherfuckers would start cosplaying Helen Keller and pretend they couldn't see or hear me. Now we gotta talk about the bus drivers. Now my middle school bus driver was one of the most wicked beings to ever spawn. She was built like a whalmer and always made everybody's day harder than it already was. She had more roles in the Thanksgiving platter and more chins than the three little pigs. She also wore pants tighter than Shannon Sharp's suits and she always had on sunglasses. Like every fucking day. You would have thought her ass was an FBI agent. It would be the middle of winter. No sunlight for miles but she still would have them on. Not to mention her leather skin that would probably make the lizard jealous. Not even Jergens could save her ass. She was dead ass petrifying to look at. Her teeth also looked like kernels of corn but the only thing that was uglier than her face was her personality. Her raspy ass voice would give niggas nightmares like Freddy Krueger. All she did was yell at us and call us all types of despair. She dead ass was a bigger op than most of my teachers. All she did was feed off of sadness like petty wise peas off of fear. Like I said earlier, she would either come early or a couple days late, no in between. And then she had a nerve to try to yell at us for not being at the bus stop on time. My nigga, you're here 10 minutes early. It's also horrendous when we have to sit outside in the rain or snow for like 20 minutes waiting for these niggas. They also made everything into a big ass deal. Like we would just be chilling on the bus, laughing and enjoying life as youthful niggas. Then they got the nerve to talk about, I swear I'll turn this bus around. But one time this wicked individual actually executed with this plan. She turned the bus around for no fucking reason and made us wait back at the school for like 10 minutes. Now as most of y'all know, the back of the bus is where the cool kids usually sit. But I sat back there because I wanted to stay as far away as possible from this revolting motherfucker. Now we gotta talk about the kids on the bus. Now if you thought these demented niggas were only crazy on school grounds, then you must be as foolish as Richard Watterson. Because that shit gets amplified by 80% when we get on the bus. First you got the niggas who treat the bus like a fucking rave and act like they've eaten 12 pounds of shrooms. These nuisances would always scream at the top of their fucking lungs like banshees. And they'll be talking about the most random shit. Talking about, I drank 15 cards of milk at lunch today. My nigga, first of all, we don't want to hear about your twisted tail about lunch and second of all your stomach gonna be hitting the macarena later but ultimately these niggas will be talking about the corniest and most irrelevant shit ever i don't know how these niggas will be so fucking hype at seven in the morning there were also the kids who constantly threw random shit like water bottles and glue sticks towards the front of the bus one time a fight almost broke out because a kid threw a book or something and it hit a girl most of the time i stayed off the crossfire but if i ever got hit i was gonna turn that shit into armageddon another thing that went down the school buses were roast sessions now unlike the first activities i described i actually partook in these ventures the shit that we were saying to each other probably can't be repeated on youtube but just know that we weren't holding back whatsoever. We were roasting niggas looks, clothes, raids, moms, dads, pets, nothing was spared. And obviously there are the niggas who turned the bus into an MMA tournament every day. But the worst thing I ever witnessed with my obstacle organs is someone pissing in a bus seat. I don't think I've ever been more disgusted in my entire life. And I guess this Nimkin poop had never let a drop of water touch his lips because his piss made the entire bus smell like a decomposing whale carcass. But then when the bus turned a quarter, it started flowing off the seat and made a puddle in the aisle. My nigga, I practically teleported to the front of the bus. There's also the kids who violate my ears with their onslaught of SoundCloud music playing off their Fisher-Price-ass speaker. All of these unethical individuals made the bus ride one of the most damning experiences of my life. 
now we gotta talk about the actual bus rides. According to Section 8, Article 27 of the School Bus Commandments, if you see another bus from your school, you are legally required to taunt them niggas. We were flipping each other off, throwing shit. It was an all-out war. Now, I don't know what type of drugs my bus drivers were taking back then, but it had to have been something stronger than loot for because these niggas were driving like they had five stars in GTA. These niggas were hitting corners at top speeds like we were fleeing from 12 or something. Not to mention the roads we were driving on looked like Hulk had just finished getting sturdy on them. So every time she would put the pedal to the fucking metal, everybody in the bus would get thrown around like we were in a tornado. But the worst shit was when she would suddenly stop quick as hell. This shit would legit give us all whiplash. Or you would get thrown into the seat right in front of you faster than the speed of light. I don't know how our buses weren't required to have seatbelts because that probably would have saved all types of niggas from trauma and physical pain. And don't even try to lay your head against the window of the bus and let you on a fractured skull and a grade 3 concussion. Your head gonna be shaking more than Anna Lee Chopper. All I was trying to do was catch some Z's and now my head feels like an electric razor. Maybe this explains why most of the kids I went to school with couldn't count past 10. The bus windows knocked their brain cells out like Spongebob. Another common school bus L that we had to deal with was that there was no air conditioning. At the beginning and end of the school year, we were literally sitting in a fucking toaster. We would try to pull the windows down, but they were jankier than a Samsung Galaxy. They were either impossible to pull down or they fell down instantly and would crush your fingers like a tin can. But we'll come back to the windows at a later time. The leather seats would also reach temperatures hotter than Megan Good, but that's if the seats have any leather left, because I'm convinced that most school seats look like they just finished scrapping with Wolverine. My bus seats literally were torn to shreds like an old chew toy or something. Like you would've thought we went to school with Edward Scissorhands. They also left those wrinkly ass lines on your body all the time too. The buses were dirty as hell too. There was garbage everywhere and it always smelled like rancid ass cheeks in there. It also took so much self resistance to try and not pull this red lever bro, but one time somebody did pull it and as y'all may know, it makes the most ear piercing sound. So the bus driver had to pull over and put it back in place. She then proceeded to yell at that nigga for 20 minutes. Now look, I understand what he did was wrong, but I'm gonna need you to get back behind the wheel because I got 2k to play and homework to ignore. But the bus evacuation drills were kinda cool. Except for the part where they expect everybody to get off the bus like we're strolling down the street for afternoon coffee or something. My nigga, if some shit really goes down on the bus like a fire, I'm tackling niggas like I'm Trent Williams. Now we gotta talk about the bus rules. Like I mentioned earlier, putting down the windows was like committing a crime, but now I wanna talk about how you're not allowed to eat on the bus. Our bus driver always threatened that she would always watch the cameras back to see if we were eating. Nobody in their right mind believed the word that came out of her mouth so niggas were bringing entire picnics on that bus bro and i get that someone could possibly choke and whatnot but that might be a better option than dying from starvation another thing worth mentioning are assigned seats one year my bus driver had given assigned seats based on last name and the nigga that sat next to me was probably the most nutty entity of all time and for all the bus drivers who assigned seats to students there's an rpg with your name written all over it but i think that's gonna cover everything for this video man comment down below your personal experiences with school buses and let me know what else you want to see next but thank you for making it to the end of this video um thank you for rocking with me you know what i'm saying um i got some heat on the way you know so i got all type of videos i want to do um i might i guess i might bring back reactions i, I don't know but I, but I got some heat on the way just know just know but you know lastly i just want to say thank y'all for all the love y'all been showing man all the constant love and support y'all showed to me and the channel um you know i'm gonna keep putting out these bangers we're gonna keep growing man we're gonna go crazy 2023 takeover man it's still in effect don't you forget thank you all for watching i hope this video finds you in good spirits i'm g grimy it's been real i'm out I love y'all. Peace.